Bass anglers know that boat ramps are key places to find fish, but they are often way more complex than we give them credit for. I wanted to show you where I have witnessed and observed bass using boat ramps and how they're using them so you can apply it to your home waters. First, the actual ramp itself, the concrete that is sloping down into the water, is not the best place to start. There are times when you're gonna find bass up there sunning themselves, and it's always worth a toss or two, but we wanna start at the complete opposite edge of the boat ramp. Most ramps will have two very defined types of structure, that, that smooth concrete that we just talked about, and then they will often have a pretty good amount of rock there to stop prop wash. Well, that rock has got two very important edges that we need to focus on. The edge where the concrete and the rock meet, and then the bottom of that edge where it goes off or drops off into deeper water. And then we can't forget the side edges as well. And this is often where other types of structure or cover are going to be found. And this other stuff is often stopping points for bass as they move through the water column and it's worth investigating. So right here, we have got a standpipe that the fire department had put in to fill up their pumper trucks. Well, this small piece of structure here is often overlooked, but as we can see, we've got a bass holding right here on it. Now it's not a seven pounder, but it could be some time in, in this particular ramp. We've also got some brush down here on the bottom edge, as well as different types of vegetation. And of course, most ramps are gonna have a dock as well. This is a lot going on in a very small area. And the many, many times that I have filmed boat ramps, it is this bottom edge that holds most of the activity. As we can see here, there are bass all over the place. And if you even look off in the distance, I didn't notice it when I was filming, but I saw it back here in the studio, is there's a bass off here rooting around in the vegetation. I don't know if they're, you know, feeding, if they're looking for something to eat or what's going on, but that is at the bottom edge of this ramp. And because of that rooting around, it has attracted the attention of another bass and is heading right there to it. We talked about curiosity just a couple weeks ago. And here's the next fact that is just so interesting to me is these bass will sit here and circle around in this area, in this rocky part of the boat ramp where it's there for uh, prop wash on this bottom edge and kind of up part way through that rock and then to those different structure and cover elements on each side. They will circle around this stuff for hours. Now it's not always the same group of fish, you know, this small school might move off and another school come in, but there is usually always something going on, even when the boat ramp has some traffic, okay? Not crazy heavy traffic, you know, like maybe on a, a Saturday morning or something, but when you have that occasional boat coming in, unloading, loading up, that activity stirs things up. And oftentimes that's going to get the attention of the bait fish in the area, uh, prey species, because of those microorganisms that get kicked up and they will move in and then the predators will move in. All of this rock down here just holds an abundance of life. It is a dynamite place for bass to find crawfish. There is rock of all different types of sizes so they can sit there and kind of nestle up next to one and feel safe. And then that deeper water access is always nearby. And like I said, they love edges. There are edges all over the place. So what are the big takeaways here? What do we need to keep in mind as you apply this to your home waters? First is definitely, this is a perfect example of always starting on the extreme outside and working your way in. Next is we want to have some lures ready that handle crevices, larger crevices, easy. Uh, something like a football jig head works really well with that wide head. It's going to come through this type of structure much better than something that's got a narrow small head that's going to get wedged in there. Next is keep in mind that these spots just refill or reload constantly. I have filmed boat ramps during all weather conditions, cold fronts, you know, warm weather, Right after storms, I have filmed them through all months of the year and there is almost always life 
here of some sort and it just keeps refilling new fish populating the area and migrating in and out so always 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 make sure that you give it a couple of opportunities throughout the day and the crazy thing is we know that boat ramps can be really good but so often people will just kind of get off into the bigger part of the lake or you know in a hurry to go where they want to go and they're easy to forget about or to overlook and hey, if you want to watch a video that talks about a bass behavior rarely discussed, go ahead and check this one out right here. And make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.